it's time for the top 10. This is part 2 of my 2022 driver rankings video. Welcome back everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just a reminder before we jump into this one. I'm enjoying making these videos and I'm going to carry on doing it. So uh, don't miss out on any. Here we go then. And at number 10 I've put Sergio Perez. It was a decent season for Sergio but... I don't think it was his best in terms of driving standard. He had some really good races. A standout has to be Abu Dhabi. That defensive drive was just immense. One of the best of the season. The main reason I've got him down in 10th is due to the gap to the staff in qualifying. At times it was massive. Massive. He really needs to narrow that gap down. His race pace wasn't as good as Max either. You know, Max was just on fire this season, weren't he? Anyone keeping up with him, you know, had a tough time, didn't he? But teammates, you you gotta be closer. You could argue, it's gonna sound harsh, but Perez might be the reason Red Bull aren't constructed champions as well. I don't know. It was a good wingman for Max though and uh, definitely one of the reasons why he's driver's champion. He was just, he was there supporting him all season long and that's what he needed. So overall, a decent season for him. Moving on to number nine where I've put Esteban Ocon. Quality season for Esteban, quality season. His first ever race win. It, that was just it, that was a mint race. That was a mint race for him. Mint race for the team. Dead happy for him. He definitely stood his ground against a two-time world champion. I don't think anyone was expecting it to be as close as what it was. They definitely pushed each other. It was a really fun teammate battle all season long. Good one to watch. Fernando did just pip him in the end though, but he yeah, like I said, it was a quality season for Esteban. He should be proud of himself what he did last year. And uh, it's, it's looking good for, for 22. So, solid season for him. I've put Mr. Saturday in eight. George Russell. Again, another driver with just a wicked season. He was overperforming in that car all year. All year. And the standout, the highlight, is that qualifying in Spa. P2 in a Williams, in the 2021 Williams. What? That just, what? How did he do that? It was incredible. And it ended up, you know, being the podium, in his first podium. A race that wasn't really a race, was it? But, you know, we'll gloss over that. And, yeah, so good to see. So good to see in that podium. Scored a decent amount of points in that car. Helped the team get eighth in the championship. Absolutely smashed his teammate, then he smashed him. Not always in the race. Latifi held his ground in the race sometimes, but in qualifying, smashed him. So, wicked year for him. And, uh, well, it's the big one this year, isn't it? The big one in 2022. So, we'll see how he gets on. <laughs> Pierre Gasly what a year for him as well what a year knocking on the door of that Red Bull seat in he's got to be but Max and Sergio sat there how's he going to find a way in well, he's just got to keep doing what he's doing hasn't he and uh, what he's doing at the minute is just insane in a car that's what is it 5th 6th fast on grid you know, at, at times, it, you know, we could argue it were with the McLaren and the Ferrari, but yeah, he's, he's absolutely incredible at the minute. Been absolutely smashing it in qualifying, and he's smashing it in qualifying. That's where he's doing so well. He's placing midfield cars, fourth, fifth on grid, and then you know his only trouble is he then they tend to slip back in the race a bit, don't they? But if he can get on top of that, if you know the team, the car, can everything, can they all get on top of that? He's, you know, a top team must want him going forward. 
why wouldn't they? Seventh best driver of the season, I've got him as. And I, you, you, should he have been higher? I don't know. Seventh for now, though. I've got Charles Leclerc next. Seemed to be a bit of a rocky season, really, didn't it? I mean, the highs were mega high, but the lows were just... They were rubbish, weren't they? Monaco, like, qualifying day. What the hell? Pole? No. Race day didn't start the race, did he? Same in Baku, like... You know, what the hell? Like, pole? Like, shut up, the Ferrari's not doing that in 2021, but he did, didn't he? In the... Uh, and Silverstone, Silverstone, nearly won the race. Right. What was it, three laps to the end? He lost out, unlucky to lose out. And in the final standings, he did finish below Carlos as well, which wasn't great considering Carlos is the new boy in the team. But that combination, those two lining up alongside each other in the same car, I mean, Ferrari are onto a winner, surely. If they can give them a good car, uh, who's stopping them to? Who's stopping them? That is the best driver lineup on the grid, for sure. Fifth now. He's still got it, hasn't he? He's still got it. After all these years, that man has still got it. What a season. Fernando Alonso showed us all why he's back in a Formula 1 car, because he's just wicked. He's just wicked. If Alpine give him a good car in 22, like, why can't he win? He can do, like, he's still got it. That hungry, driving in hungry. The way he kept Lewis behind him, Lewis was on a softer compound of tyres that were younger and in a far superior car. He couldn't find a way past for ages. I mean, even that was just mega to watch. He's the reason Ocon won that race champion that is why he's a two-time champion and that is why that's why he's back in it because he's just he's not lost it he, he's wicked beating Ocon was very important for him and he did it it showed that he can fight with these young guys and uh, yeah that was really important and it was fun watching him go toe-to-toe with George Russell as well weren't it was it was it Austria that was, that was sick and they were fighting over 10th as well like they were like they were going for a win or something but fighting over 10th he's still going for every point he don't care does he he just wants to have a fun race and yeah he's still got it I'm looking forward to watching him in 2022 I hope I'll pay him a good car because it's going to be mega to watch if he does if, if they can give him that car wow we're in for a treat the smooth operator is fourth for me this season. Absolutely smashed it again, didn't he? Coming into Ferrari, Charlotte blows turf and beat him. I mean, I mean that's just epic, that right, isn't it? That's setting him up for a mega 2022. I hope Ferrari give him the car because he, he he's champion in 2020. Ferrari give them a good car. He's beating Charles. 100%. 100%. He's beating nearly everyone in a wicked car, isn't he? He's, what he's shown us over the past few years, he's, his year at McLaren, two years at McLaren, and his year at Ferrari, he's just, he's showing everyone why he's, why he's in F1 and why he's going to be a world champion one day. He's, he's absolutely, he's a mint driver multiple podiums this year and beating his teammate is why I've got him down as fourth and I think he's only going to improve more going forward so I'm excited to watch him next year so third third best driver at year Lando Norris again another driver with a mega season wicked season mint season quality season all of them he's had all of them man four podiums he held third spot in the championship standings for about half the season he kept Bottas and Perez behind in superior cars which is just mind blowing really isn't it? And yeah people took 
Lando was a bit of a joke at first, didn't he, really? No, but now he's a serious racer. He's a serious contender for champion this year. And that is why he's third in my list. And I, I don't think you can argue with that. Who's got the runner-up spot then? Only two drivers left, didn't they? And, uh, yeah, these two have been going toe-to-toe all year, haven't they? It's been... It was epic watching these two. They, they got the best out of each other. And we, we just, we have watched an F1 season that is next level. Next level. We're not going to see anything like that again for many years, are we? Many years. It was hard to split them, but I've put Lewis Hamilton second. And here's why. He's had arguably one of the best seasons of his career, despite not winning the championship. His drive in Brazil was just God tier, weren't it? God tier. That's the only way you can describe it. He had a few of those. I mean, the drive at Silverstone, a lot of people weren't happy about it, but it was still a wicked drive. The form of him and that car for the last about four races was just a tier above Max and Red Bull. Unlucky in Abu Dhabi. Love it or hate it, it's the, it's the way it went, it's how it is. And got to move on from it, haven't we? He hardly put a foot wrong this year. Hardly put a foot wrong. Any other year, he would have been world champion. Because he pretty much is world champion every other year. Yeah. Incredible season. Incredible. I do think he'll come back next season. I don't think he's done with F1. It'd be nice to see him back because uh, it'd be it'd be fun to watch George and him go against it. You know, the two different generations crossing over. He'd come out on top. that will be fun to watch. So uh, time will tell, won't it? So yeah, we'll see. So surprise, surprise, the world champion is number one. It was hard for him not to be number one. The season he has had. Again, it's been great here. Ten wins, eighteen podiums, world champion. Max Verstappen, take him out, take him out. Love or hate what happened in Abu Dhabi, he deserved that championship. Just mega all season in a car that was on a par with the Mercedes for a lot of the season. Towards the end, Mercedes had a better car, but it was very up and down all season. I, I don't think you can say one car was superior over the other. Very even match that car. And let's not forget, Max didn't always have luck on his side this season, did he? Silverstone knocked out. Hungary knocked out. Baku tire blow. Without all that. A couple races to the end, but if what's and maybe let's you know that's what it is, isn't it? So, the champion of the world is my best ranked driver going into 2022. And there we have it. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been it's been fun to make this one. I've enjoyed this one. Give me your opinion, comment. Subscribe, love it if you did, share the video, like the video, do whatever you want, we'll uh, see you next one, cheers guys.